As the world continues to go crazy, and we are all wondering what is going to happen next, how do we tell what is real news and what is fake news? And the real question, does it matter what we see and hear when we are balanced in ourselves? Please have a copy of your Human Design Life Chart with you so you can follow along with what I'm talking about in a way that relates directly to you and your life. If you don't have a chart, then please go to www.humandesignforusall.com humandesignforusall.com and download your free Human Design Report, which will contain a copy of your life chart. You can always use your smartphone, either an Android or an iPhone, and go to www.thehumandesignapp.com thehumandesignapp.com and install our free app which will generate your human design life chart for you. In this talk I'm going to look at the mind center in the human design life chart. This is at the center second from the top of the human design life chart, the triangle that points downwards and has the potential to connect to only two other centers, the crown center at the top of the chart, the center that triggers our inspirations, and the throat center, the square center beneath, where we come to express ourselves, at least, let's say from the mind's perspective, where we get to express thoughts, beliefs, ideas, and insights. The capability of the human mind is enormous, and yet we've all found in one way or in another that if we try guiding our lives from our thoughts, we always come up short. If we pay attention to our thinking process, we'll find that mental decisions cannot bring us fulfillment. They cannot bring us satisfaction. Because there's always going to be a what if that arises as new factors come into our awareness that are going to rearrange our perspectives. Applying a dogmatic or a rigid approach according to someone's supposed rules or fixed beliefs denies the reality of our world, that it is ultimately illogical. Trying to live a life that runs on dogma, be that political, religious or discriminatory in some way, is ultimately going to fail, just as fascism, communism and hundreds of empires and religions have come and gone and will continue to come and go over time. This incapability to be fulfilled by the mind is, apart from, from other reasons, because the mind is physically split. <laughs> Mind's function is to comment on our environment, to tell us whether something or someone fits within certain patterns of thoughts, and it is not designed to make decisions that guide us. What we also have come to appreciate through human design is not only do we have conscious aspects in our nature, we also have unconscious aspects too, that for the most part are completely hidden from us. And this can also apply to our thoughts and our thinking processes. It is quite possible that we have parts of our mental process that escape our attention altogether. We'll occasionally find thoughts appearing in our consciousness, and if we're paying attention, we'll wonder where these three streams of words or concepts came from. So as we register that we have thoughts that happen, we also come to appreciate that these thoughts are not ours. They're being processed by our mind for us to be able to do something with them or not. By witnessing, we come to appreciate that we are not our thoughts. We are not our mind. That our mind is here to give us information about our surroundings and that information can be useful to us or not. Our mind has to be our servant and not our master. In the top side of the mind center, on the life chart, there are three gates that provide the means to formulate and resolve what appears to us in the form of inspirations from the crown center. In the lower side of the mind center, there are three gates that aim our processed and articulated thoughts towards being expressed at the throat center. There are three possibilities for the mind center. It is either going to be defined, undefined, or open. If you have a defined mind center, one that is colored in, then it is going to be running consistently 
according to the channel or channels that connect it to either the crown or the throat or both centers. The mind center in human design life chart can be seen to operate in three distinctly different ways. Through what we've called logical and therefore future-oriented thoughts. Through senses that form ideas and beliefs based in some way on previous life experience and through what are pure insights. These are the three ways. The logical thoughts happen through two channels. The 63-4 from the crown to the mind and then the 1762 from the mind to the throat. The sensing, as in does this make sense, stream of mental activity passes through the 6447 from the crown to the mind and then from the 1156 from the mind to the throat. Both logical and sensing mental activity is collective. It works within a framework of shared information that ultimately is expressed through opinions on the logical side and ideas and beliefs on the sensing side. The background for collective sharing is foundationally visual in that we can share viewpoints that we either agree with or not. The insightful stream of mental activity passes through the 6124 from the crown to the mind and then the 43 to the 23 in the throat center. Insight would be more accurately described as inner hearing in that it is more acoustic than visual in nature. It is individual and potentially transformational in its process and not bound by either logic or belief. In a world that has most often been compelled by the collective approach of science and religion, this insightful mental stream is often scrutinized. So if you have a defined mind, you will notice that your thoughts are streamed in a very particular way according to the channel or channels involved and any gate or gates that are active in your defined mind center. Neither logical, sensing or insightful mental streams are better or more important than one another. However, it is important to appreciate just how your mind operates and how it is consistent in its activity and potential expression. Any defined channel in your mind center fixes how your mind operates. If you have an undefined mind center, one that is colored white and which also has a gate or gates that are activated within it, then you'll find yourself able to reflect on others' thoughts, beliefs or insights with a potential wisdom that is aligned with your activated gate or gates. The thoughts passing through your mind are definitely not yours. However, the potential to reflect wisdom can be seen as a part of your abilities. You can be brilliant at resolving other people's issues. But if you insist on using your mind to resolve your own issues, you'll find you're absolutely hopeless. Hopeless because you cannot be fulfilled in resolving your issues according to somebody else's ways. By absorbing and using others' thoughts, beliefs, or insights as your own, and as important to you, will leave you conditioned and unfulfilled because you are trying to adjust yourself according to somebody else's appreciation of life in their mental way. If you have an open mind center, one that is colored white and in which there are no activated gates, you have literally an open mind. You are not empty-headed by any manner of means. You're open-minded. You have the capability to reflect any and all thoughts into the world around you. It is possible that people will track you down to get a clear reflection of their own thoughts through your open-mindedness. And you can find yourself brilliant in this regard, clarifying for others things that they cannot clarify for themselves. However, it is important to remember that both for you with your open mind and also for those with an undefined mind center that the thoughts are never your own. You might be very good at clarifying and reflecting thoughts to others, but constantly running thoughts through your own mind is not a healthy reality for you. To date, 
I've only been able to work out two reasons why you should ever be thinking applying your mind. One, you're getting very well rewarded for providing your reflections. Two, you're someone who loves worrying. An undefined or open mind center is a bit like a radio that can be tuned to all kinds of different broadcasts. Pick up thoughts, fine tune and broadcast them on demand. However, it is important to remember that you turn the radio off when it's not needed. A meditation for those with undefined or open mind centers is to clear your mind. Now we did a human design life chart clearing exercise in a previous video. Once you have cleared your mind, then walk into a room where there are other people and watch what happens. How you pick up thoughts as you enter the room. Suddenly your mind gets busy. So you're going to be in the room, be able to reflect your thoughts and reflect other people's thoughts back to give clarity to other people. But here the important thing is when you leave that room again, leave the thoughts too. Quieten your mind. The mind center is enormously capable and there is nothing better or worse in having it defined, undefined or open. The important thing to realize is how your mind operates. Let you are clear about the fact that thoughts come and go and have the means to color our lives in many ways once we've learned to use it properly. Be clear about your mind center and how it operates for you and the possibility of getting swept up in a crazy world vanishes. Next time we'll have a look at the throat center, the most complex and most potentially connected of the nine centers in the human design life chart. So see you then. Bye for now.